Technology is also useful for teaching young learners. Sinem will show some examples of fun activities for young learners. Young learners seem to pick up new words very quickly. But as teachers, we want to give them some extra help. And Professor Ranali's tips about vocabulary learning are a great start for helping young learners. He explained the difference between incidental and intentional learning. Incidental learning means that students pick up words through listening and reading while their attention is on overall meaning. However, as Professor Ronali said, they also need to make a deliberate effort to identify the words they need to learn and use vocabulary learning strategies to remember those words. This is called intentional learning. Professor Ranali also reminded us of the importance of repeated exposure to the words in different contexts over time, since learning happens incrementally rather than in one session. So how can technology support vocabulary learning for young learners? Let's take a look at an example of how we can combine a few different web-based sources to create a lesson around a particular topic. In this example, our theme is animals. I will show how you can use technology in a lesson for supporting learners' incidental, intentional, and incremental vocabulary learning about animals. To begin, it's important to have warm-up activities for vocabulary learning for young learners. So, for the first activity in the lesson, we will start with a game in which learners are exposed to some words that they will see again later. Some websites, such as eslkidsgames.com, have many different vocabulary games for learners of all ages. In one of the games, learners put the mixed up letters into the correct order to name the animal shown in the picture. If you want a game that is a bit more challenging, then try the one where the students put mixed up letters into the correct order to spell the name of the animal described in a sentence rather than shown in a picture. This requires learners to use reading skills as well. In another game, on the same website, students listen to the sounds of different animals and choose which one makes the sound they hear. Games created by others may not give the teachers the exact words they want to teach in class. In this case, teachers can use tools such as Trivia Maker. In Trivia Maker, teachers can create their own games for the content they want to teach and put their learners into teams. For example, we could work on the two words, prey and predator, because these words are related to our topic of animals. This is the end of the warm-up activity. In the next video, I'll show you the main reading task.